All right, starting off the week again with a couple Marvel card hauls. I can't stop buying these things. I'm just finding like really good deals on them. I bought two lots. This is only one of the lots. After I show you this, I'll show you the second lot, which is even bigger than this one. And um, this lot was only 13 bucks. Um, yes, I paid shipping, I think like eight to 10 bucks shipping, something like that. But I mean, that's just like $13 for all this. I mean, come on, man. So the main reason I picked up this lot, this was another situation where you couldn't really see all the cards, kind of just saw stacks and stuff, was I saw a stack of these Marvel Masterpiece 93 cards, and I was hoping it was a big stack, but this is all that came in it. But that's the risk you take buying lots like this. You're not really sure exactly what you're going to get. However, there still is a decent little stack of these right here, so not too bad. I was hoping for more of these, though. That was kind of the main cards I was after, but it is what it is. I probably still would have bought the lot even if these weren't in it. However, there were some uh, Marvel Masterpieces 92 in this slot that I was not even aware of. So that was a nice little bonus. Um, these cards are just like really cool, the Marvel Masterpiece cards. So yeah, these are probably the better cards in the slot. There's no like inserts or nothing crazy in this, but just the sheer volume of cards is uh, what makes it good. I have a huge stack of Flare 94 Ultra cards. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just a massive stack. Um, <clears throat> some of these cards will be, you know, a couple dollar cards. I mean, look how many there is. And to pay $13 for everything here, just a stupid good deal. Obviously, it takes time to list all this stuff, but I like to do that, so not too bad. There's uh, these cards, Spider-Man 30th Anniversary. These are from 92. Um, I haven't seen these before. Um, they're kind of cool looking, but I'm not, I'm not really too familiar with these. But there's a huge stack of those. Um, got one random Savage Dragon card. <clears throat> got a couple of these DC cards. These are cool looking. A couple of these. So there's just a bunch of random stuff too. Um, some Superman cards. Not too many. One Marvel 91 card. I'm familiar with those. Here's a stack of DC justice league cards these are in pretty good condition too um i am not familiar with these but we will see i got another stack of ghost rider cards i got a stack of these in the last lot that i bought so i got more to add to that one random i think this is 93 yeah one random 93 card and then another stack of these uh from then till now two wolverine cards i had a big stack of these from the last haul I bought too. But yeah, that's all for this lot. Let me clear the table and show you the second lot I bought. All right, here's the second lot I bought. This lot was only $15 plus shipping. I believe it was like eight to 10 bucks for shipping. So um, not too bad at all. Um, and another situation where I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna get. These are the kind of people I buy off of just like their binders or their collections. They just kind of have up for sale. So it's kind of like a surprise. Um, I wasn't expecting any Marvel Masterpieces cards in this because I didn't see any in the photos, but there was, was a small stack of um, 93s. So that's a little bonus. And there's also a small stack of 94s. So that's pretty cool. Those are cool looking cards. Um, here is a massive stack of the Marvel Universe 94 cards. Got some uh, freeze frames as well. It's well, a lot of base cards and I don't know, I'm not going to go through all this, but I mean, these are like cool looking cards. I mean, there's just a ton. I mean, just look at all this. The art's really cool on these. So yeah, I mean, I'm selling these things individually. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, just a few bucks at a time, but I mean, when all is said and done, I'm going to sweep the floor on these like lots, but it does take time. But um, cards don't take up much space at all, and they're very easy to photograph and list, and also very easy to look up, like comps and stuff. But yeah, just a massive stack of this set. That's like the main, the main thing from this lot. Um, there was a small little stack of uh, Spider-Man cards. These are cool looking. Um, not too many though, just a few. Um, there was also a stack of the 93 cards. I've had these before. Um, yeah, 93. I mean, there's a lot of these too. 
I think I still have some of these listed. But um, these are kind of cool because if you put these in like a nine page uh, binder with like the sheets and stuff and you order it one through nine, like um, they'll like see out here, these connect, like it makes one giant picture each page. So it's pretty cool. That's why you can see some of these have like borders just on one side. So this one is probably like on that side of the binder. And like this one would be a corner one because the border is like that. Yeah, see? So yeah, that's pretty cool. These don't have that much value though. But um, I will take them. And I got more of these uh, 30th anniversary Spider-Man cards. I don't know if these are any good or not but I'll take them. Got a stack of Punisher cards from 1992. Uh, I don't know if these are good or not, but it's Punisher. So I'm sure some people will want them. And then lastly, I got a stack of DC cards. I think I got this in that first lot that I picked up last week too. Just a massive stack of these as well. But yeah, $15 for all this can't go wrong obviously it's gonna take a long time to list all this stuff but i enjoy it i gotta stop buying marvel cards though because i gotta stop looking for deals because if i look for deals i'm gonna find them because i have these two lots to list i still have in that first lot that i bought i listed all of the gold signature series cards but that's it i didn't even list the rest of them and i have all the sports cards i just picked up too that i gotta list plus all the regular stuff they have to list that isn't cards so i gotta stop this man but i just couldn't pass up these deals Real quick, I forgot some stuff. There was some cards in top loaders from this haul. Got like the Spider-Man hologram, uh, this Death Strike card. I think this is an insert in uh, Wolverine and this Wolverine. So yeah, got those as well. It is Sunday night. I went thrifting earlier today, so I got a little thrift haul for you guys. Um, found some cool stuff. Uh, first up and probably the best stuff I found were these vintage WWF um, all about fact books. I got four of them here, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, WWF Superstars, and WWF Tag Teams. Um, comps show that these sell for like around 15 bucks, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Um, it turns out, I think I have the full set because it shows back here that there's four of them in the set. So I might just lot this up, but might have like $50, $60 worth of books right here. These were 30 cents a piece. So really good find there. Um, Anything wrestling related that you guys see that has WWF instead of WWE, look into it because there's a very good chance um, it has some kind of value. Um, might not be super valuable, but definitely it's worth looking up. And if you can get it for cheap, I would, I don't know, just, just look it up if you see WWF logo instead of WWE. So that was, that was a really good find. I mean, that alone more than pays for everything. I've um, got some other things as well. got this PS2 game. Uh, Sims in the City, The Herbs, um, Black Eyed Peas Edition. Um, I paid a dollar fifty for this. I don't know. I think it goes for like twelve or thirteen or something. Um, it's whatever. Picked up the Star Trek PC game. This is actually sealed. I paid a dollar for this, and um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this does. But for a dollar, couldn't really go wrong. Um, picked up um, this little DVD set for. Uh, four disc set and as you can see acorn media i've mentioned that before look out for acorn media if you see that on dvds look into it because it might have some value this was half off it was only two bucks um yeah not too bad i'm not really sure what that'll go for i think i saw comps for like 17 somewhere around there i'll have to look more into it picked up two cds these were 50 cents a piece these are both sealed um just kind of obscure cds um didn't really see much about these on ebay in sealed condition so for that cheap i just picked them up i'm not too worried about it um i picked up two hats i paid four bucks a piece for these um comps on both of these look to be around like between 20 and 25 bucks so we'll see how it goes so yeah this is i never heard of this brand i think super feet yes yeah, super feet and um i don't know it's kind of a cool unique looking hat kind of caught my attention and yeah i don't know we'll see also picked up this Fox Racing slash Monster hat. And this is a nice looking hat too. Um, I don't know, but I've heard in the past that Monster was kind of getting people for Varos and stuff. So I guess be careful selling Monster stuff. Like I might just put Monster instead of Monster Energy in my listing. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on it. But I know I've heard in the past that people got Varoed 
for um, selling monster stuff, which is kind of lame. But I mean, this is mainly like a Fox Racing hat with monster sponsored or something. I don't know. I still picked up the hat, though. Also picked up a stack of books. These were all 30 cents a piece. I got this little three book lot. Uh, Gordon Corman books, books one, two, and three. 30 cents a piece. Can't go wrong. I mean, this won't go for that much, but for that cheap, I had to pick it up. Picked up two of these Nancy Drew books. These are just something I will lot up, save for in the future, and make a giant lot. So just grab those when I can. And I also picked up this sto the Story Bible. This is a really nice looking book. It looks clean, fresh. Um, I, I'm hoping this will go up for like around 15. It's heavy, but it ships media mail, and for 30 cents, I couldn't leave it behind. So um, everything here today with tax included, was only like $17 and some change, which is a pretty good deal considering these wrestling books alone make up for that. But that's everything I picked up. It is Monday morning. I had a pretty good weekend. I have 15 items going out today. Some of the items are at the storage unit. We'll get there in a minute. Let's go over what I have here in the eBay room. First up, I sold this Matchbox, the Engineers, little set thing. I don't really remember where I got this from. This might have come in one of like the Hot Wheels halls or something. But this ended up selling for $19.99, not too bad. Next up, I sold another one of these Madame Alexander dolls. It sold for $22.35. I haven't sold one of these in a long time. I only have a few left. So glad to see that go. Sold one of these Hot Wheels cars that sold for $10.99. Sold a Marvel card, Flare 94, Vulture vs. Spider-Man that sold for $2.78. I sold a CD, Classics for Relaxation. This is sealed. Nothing crazy here that sold for $8.89. Had that for quite a while. Sold one of these uh, Magic Keldheim art cards that sold for two thirty-two. dollars Sold this, uh, the Soupy Sales three disc set thing. I just lotted up uh, volumes one, two, and three. Um, and that lot sold for $34.99, not too bad at all. And then I sold a basketball card and that ended up selling for $6.99. All right, I'm at the storage unit. I have seven more items to pull. First up, I sold one of these laser discs. Haven't sold one of these in a long time. Uh, this ended up selling for $10.99. I will take it. Um, next up, I sold a GameCube game, disc only. Uh, it's got to be this one. It is. Oh, no, that's a Wii game. Okay, it's this one then. Um, yeah, Mario Golf. Disc only sold for $20.99. Not too bad. Um, I sold a DVD. This land is your land, the folk years. This ended up selling for $14.99. This is pre-owned. And I sold a micro brawler from the pro wrestling crate, Adam Bomb. This guy ended up selling for $19.99. These things are cool, but I just don't really collect them. And then I also sold some cards. Got this uh, Wolverine 94 Flare Ultra, sold for $349. Got this football card, Trey Lance, that ended up selling for $1.99. And one of these raw deal cards sold. I did a little pack opening of these kind of recently on my channel. Um, I wasn't sure if there was a market for these, but this one ended up selling for $4.99. I have no idea how to tell what cards are good, but I will take it. It is Tuesday morning. I'm shipping out a few items today that I have here in the eBay room. Uh, first up, I sold another one of these refreshment CDs. This sold for $19.99. Great sale as always. I've sold a bunch of these. I think I still have another one left. Uh, sold one of these Keldheim art cards, this magic card that sold for $2.32. I also sold a Hot Wheels card, ended up selling for $9.99. It is Wednesday morning, and this is pretty bad. I only have one item going out today. I sold this Flare 94 Marvel card, Moon Knight, ended up selling for $4.99. It is Thursday morning. I'm only shipping eBay room items out today. However, I only have two items going out. It's been very slow the last couple days. First up, I sold a Marvel 91 card, Thor vs. Loki, that sold for $2.37. I also sold this CD, Song of America, various artists, like three disc set. This is sealed, sold for $16.99. It is early Friday morning. I have seven orders going out today. Most of them are here in the eBay room. Uh, let's go over what's sold. First up, I sold this lot of five Hot Wheels Ninja Turtles monster truck cars. Uh, this lot ended up selling for $46.49, not too bad at all. Next up, I sold a DVD, I'm Happiness on Earth. This is sealed, ended up selling for $23.49. Pretty good DVD sale there. Uh, this was actually a good Hot Wheels car too. This one ended up selling for $29.99, uh, Dodge Viper GTS. So solid sale there. I sold one of these DC Bloodline cards. 
This one ended up selling for $4.59. Not a bad sale. Had that listed for a very long time, though. Uh, next up, I sold another one of these Hot Wheels cars. This uh, 1956 Ford pickup. This one was decent, too. Sold for $19.99, even though the package had some wear. And then I also sold this uh, 65 Mustang. And that one sold for $12.99. Um, I'm going to pack this stuff up. And actually, before I go to the storage unit to get the rest of this stuff, um, I'm going to an estate sale. I haven't been to like a garage sale or a estate sale in a while. I've mainly been sourcing like online or at like the thrift store. So that should be fun. And on my way home, the storage unit is literally on the way home. So I'm going to go to the estate sale, then hit up the storage unit, grab the rest of my stuff, come home, pack up stuff. I'll show you guys what I found at the estate sale. If I find anything, let's go. All right, everything's all packed up. I'm about to go to the estate sale in honor of the new Curb Your Enthusiasm season coming out um, on Sunday. I'm not sure if this video is going to be released Saturday or Sunday. So either today or tomorrow, basically October 24th, new season of Curb. I got my Larry David shoes on. Look at these things. These Larry David looking ass shoes. I mean, come on, man. Curb Your Enthusiasm is such a good show. I'm so glad that they're... Um, still just releasing seasons and everything it is so funny so i'm really looking forward to that and yeah in honor of that i'm wearing my larry david shoes today all right i'm at the storage unit just got back from the estate sale um i picked up a bunch of stuff i'll show you guys what i found on once i get home uh, but for now i have one more item to pull sold this uh, vintage kurt vonnegut jr book welcome to the monkey house this ended up selling for 14.99 all right i'm back home from the uh, estate sale and also the storage unit everything's shipped out good to go um yeah i picked up a bunch of books from that estate sale um these are all vintage like paperback books i've done well selling these in the past to be completely honest i didn't really look these up i looked up one book and saw like a sold comp for 15 bucks and i was just like i'm buying all of them um they wanted two bucks a book i asked them if i bought all of them would they give me a deal they said yeah so then they said they would do a dollar a book However, there was, when it, once we counted them, there was 129 books. I just offered them 100 bucks, and they took it. So it ended up being about $0.77 cents per book. A little bit more than I would have liked to pay. But considering this was day one on the estate sale, within the first 10 minutes they opened, and they gave me the books for less than half of what they were asking, um, that's not bad at all. I'm familiar with this estate sale company. Is the reason why I went to their sale. They will... They don't give stuff away, but they will work with you if you're buying a bunch of stuff and all that. So I kind of like that company. I'm not going to go through each individual book, but I'll just show you some of the stuff. Like here's a bunch of these um, executioner books. Um, it's not like a complete set or anything, but there's like a bunch of volumes here. So that might be a lot up situation. I'm not sure. Um, also, what was good about th this buy is there's a lot of the same authors. Like I think, yeah, this John McDonald guy, um, basically like most of that box and i think like almost all of this box is all his books so i'm going to look up um each individual book because a lot of times you can sell similar books like this individually but if i can't at least i have a bunch of the same author i can make lots so that will be good i mean it's just all kinds of stuff um yeah we will see i will look everything up though because you'd be surprised with books sometimes you just assume they're not worth anything and you got a lot of them up but um if, if you do look them up, sometimes like an individual book can go for, you know, worth selling it individually, like 15 bucks, like the, you know, book you just saw me pull from the storage unit. So if that's the case, um, not too bad. We will see, though. Um, this was kind of a blind buy. So I don't know. It's a little bit of a gamble, but I'm not worried about it. I've done well in the past with stuff like this. And then here's a whole another bin. There's like all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, so a lot of this Ian guy... I mean, there's just, it's just a lot, man. It's just a lot of books. And um, yeah, this should be cool. I'm hoping I do well on this. We will see though. Oh man, I got to list all these. <laughs> I don't mind listing books. They're actually kind of fun. They're they're easy, but um, yeah, definitely uh, some work ahead. Let me clear this off the table. I will show you some of the other stuff I picked up. I actually only picked up one more item for uh, to resell. And that's this uh, Woolrich like kind of denim i don't know shirt jacket type thing it's got like these little embroidery logos on it in the back i know like western slash like aztec kind of theme stuff like can sell pretty good but this is a women's shirt so i'm not sure if women buy that or it's just men but i just picked it up anyway um it was four bucks so i don't know just took a took a chance on it 
The rest of the stuff here I just bought for personal use. It's not to resell or anything like that, but you can find, you know, decent stuff at the garage sales, estate sales, just, you know, for super cheap compared to what you would buy in the store. Um, I got like this box of garbage bags, um, got a box of like, you know, zipper bags, plastic bags, got a pack of em uh, um, light bulbs, and I got two packs of envelopes, which obviously I use these to ship trading cards. I would never buy envelopes at a retail store or online. Like it'd be so much money. You just, whenever you see envelopes at estate sales or garage sales, just pick them up. They're super cheap. This whole pile of stuff, this lady only charged me $6 for. And then this was four and then spent a hundred on the books. So for everything I got today, it was $110. Not too bad. It is time for the numbers for the week. This week I had a total gross sales of $395.91. After fees and shipping and all that, my net was $251.02. Kind of a slow week, but it did pick up towards the end. Like Friday was pretty good, so hopefully that continues on. We will see. Um, holiday season is basically here, so if it's going to pick up for me, it should be happening pretty soon. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be all for the video. Stack dividends, sweep floors. Until next time. Next I go to an estate sale, there's old ladies everywhere, everything seems to be overpriced, but these ladies don't know about vintage fire t-shirts, underwear, goosebump books, super rare, DVDs, brand new sealed, out of print, let's make a deal.